right, we're on to part two of slides. Part two of slides. I like it. Slipping down the slippery slope of slides. Say that five times fast. I don't think I could. I didn't barely said it one time. I thought slow. you were gonna go into Coolio and be like slides, slides, but that's a pass. There you go. Yeah. Coolio. Something brand new for the cast. We've got uh, yeah, we've got a title now. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we did pimp our slides. Slippery so we slides. Might as well stay in the hip hop uh, section. Sure. Anyway, does pimping have to be hip hop? No. I was just coming from Exhibit to Coolio. No. Sure. That works. Exhibit, he hosted that show, Pin My Rights. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. All right. Now he's back. He's Head back, ladies and gentlemen. full of useless knowledge. Yep, fountain of useless information. Uh, that is That's there. That's right. All right. So as we're going down our slippery slope of slides, I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna screw this up better. one time easily. Eh, it's fine. And um, the, the next thing we're going to talk about here is presenter view. This is actually a pretty, pretty vast product. Well, it's not a product. A feature within uh, slides. I agree. So we want to hit this up really well and um, get something good out of it. All right. So let's present. Let's present. So uh, you can see here I'm in my digital signage presentation that I do at uh, summits and um, other um, Google conferences. Yeah. Um, hopefully I'll come out with a, uh, a video about digital signage and how I do that fairly soon. That'd be good. Because it's a, a fairly affordable way to go about digital signage. I agree. And it's I the like best, that. best thing we've done here. I hope it's not the, I, mean, I take pride in it being the best thing we've done, but I hope we've done some other good things as well. It's very presentable. It's very presentable. It's very, presentable. It's very forward facing because it's right there. Yeah. All right. So I'm doing my presentation. I'm going through and I want to have uh, some notes about what I've done. Right. I want to ha- open it up to Q&A from the audience. Ooh. Hopefully I've got this giant auditorium full of people. Participation. Participation. Yeah. I like Collaboration. It. So you're not going to just sit up there and read the words right from your slide. <laughs> Our biggest pet peeve ever <laughs> from listening to keynotes. Correct. All right. Um, Good. So hit the arrow next to present and you get presenter view. Yeah. That's one way to go into it. Or if you hit present uh, down in the lower corner here, you'll see a presenter view as well. Yeah. Well, as soon as you hit presenter view, when you're in here, it kicks you out of full view because it brings up your presenter window. Right. I'm going to slide this over to another window on my desktop Fancy. here. Fancy. Yeah, you know, did desktops. You've done this once before. I've done you? this once or twice. Wow, um, not that often though. I don't. I haven't had a large enough uh, venue to do the Q and A. Most of the time, I it's coming. Just do face to face. And you comments. can try this at home. You can absolutely try this. I suggest trying this. Um, so I'm going to go back in here, and I'm going to go back to full screen. So this is what it would look like if you were uh, sitting, sitting in, in the, the audience. audience. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So. Did you know that? <laughs> that I wasn't going to read it. I didn't mean to jump back there. That jumped out uh, by really quick. So audience Q&A, just click to present. We'll go through this audience tool part. Um, but I want to go to speaker notes first. If you're not for some reason um, comfortable with all your information, say if you've got you know, 25, 30 slides and you just for some reason you think you might have forgot something hey, in the slide. It's better than holding that index card stack that you fo- drop all over stage. Exactly, yeah. you, are, you may already be in front of this or if you're walking around with a clicker, you can walk back in front of it and it's gonna show you what slide you're on and it's gonna give you your notes on that slide. Right. I don't currently have any on this. I don't typically stick to my slide deck very often. No. I go off on a few. You go off on tangents? A thousand tangents. Yeah. Probably a good thing we don't keynote together then. Kind of hurt my shoulder. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Injury in. on the set. That's right. Medic? You <laughs> got a bleeder. No. No, no I'm not bleeding. No, not quite that bad. Hey, no blood, no foul. No. So, um, so that's real quick on the uh, audience tools. You yeah. can see down here you've got a timer. Timer can be paused, reset at any time. It doesn't do anything to your presentation. Right. It's more um, for rehearsals. I can shut that off. It can be for rehearsals, or uh, it could be something where instead of having to try to pop a timer up, up on a screen, yeah. uh, you could have your timer here um, to say, hey, all right, at this point in time, let's take a minute here to go through and ask any questions. Oh, I like that. Oh, we could ask questions. Let's ask some let's questions. Let's ask some questions. We're going to ask the audience, poll the audience? This is like millionaire. We can, do I get to win money? You do not get any money. No. We certainly don't get Why paid enough for that. I agree to do this video? If anyone wants to pay us to do this, please. Oh, yeah, OK. That would be great. That's not all Sponsors. Right. It's interesting how that worked. So you can see I, I've been in a uh, poll on this before because I have two options. Here. I have start, new, and continue recent. Oh, yeah. Right? Um, so it closes, I'm assuming, when you close out. It's supposed to close when you close out. If you close it out for a certain amount of time, then you would just get a window that says start, new, and that's it. That makes it. sense. You wouldn't want questions right. from... I don't know what that length of time is. Hmm. We've looked it up. We'll Google that. We've Googled we'll it. I notes. have Googled it, but I have not found out what if the length of time is. we'll put it in the notes. Yes. Otherwise, some, you Google it yourself. Some sort of cash clearing. So I'm going to start a new one All because right. this is what it would be like doing a new presentation. I like it. So can I join? So what you'll see here on your presentation at the top here is ask Ooh. a question at goo.gl 
forward slash slides, which, which is always the always same. there. It's the last part of it that's the new tag on it. The last part case sensitive, like some of the other goo. I LCLs have not seen any of these come up in lowercase at this point. I have seen numbers, okay. um, but most of your URL shorteners like this are case sensitive. And okay. considering this is goo.gl, I assume it's just a URL shortener. And uh, so we would go to goo.gl forward slash slides forward slash all lowercase right. uv kd tw. Now, if anyone tries to go to this, this is going to be closed. I'm not going to keep this open 24 7 for question oh. answering. If you want to leave comments or questions, you have other things to do. You're in a YouTube video. Yeah. You go that way. Ask it down below. Scroll down. Mm -hmm. You'll see them. Easy. And please like. Why we, wouldn't we you? We like likes. Why wouldn't you? Absolutely. All right. All right. So now we're going to have some questions coming and flowing through. So uh, I'm going to go to that link as well. So you can see what it would look like um, from a the audience. audience point of view. Yeah, because it is a little bit different right. and you want to see that before you start presenting. So we'll get back to that in a second. Let me find my other window here that I lost. Presenter view, there it is. Okay. So if you notice here in the top right now, because we are in the same organization, and the top it says accepting questions from York Schools Department. Nick Schumann, shout out to Nick Schumann. Hey. Just popped in and says, do you have to be a member of the present presenter's domain in order to participate? Ooh, good question. Absolutely good not. Good he's part of our domain, though. He is part of our domain, and he could ask that. Right now, especially. Because by default... But in this blue section at the top, it says uh, accepting questions from York School Department. If I click that, I can accept questions from anyone. If you're doing a presentation or you have other people that don't have um, Gmail accounts... Right. Or not Gmail accounts, but don't have... Um, well, that too. Uh, if they don't have Gmail accounts or if they're not part of an organization, they can now ask questions. Right. So if you're out of your classroom or outside of your district, you want to make that anyway. Right. And you want to double check that first. Right. So if you don't want, if you're a, a, a audience member yes. and you're typing and a I question. Am. Yeah, I did. And can I not be seen? Oh, you, right. you mean you don't want your little avatar next to your I question? don't want it to pop up because as a presenter, I see these questions. I can click present. Yeah. And that way on the screen, everyone can see what that Ooh, question is. Oh, I like that. On the bottom, it has Nick Schumann's picture and his name, Nick Schumann. Mm. A lot of Schumann in this. <laughs> so if Schumann. I if I hit hide, it goes back to my presentation. Right. I can uh, click a lot of roop in this too. I can click yeah, yeah. to the next one here, mm -hmm. which then obviously is going to go up in the presentation as my next slide. Right. But say I don't want to see Thomas Roop up on here. Mm, Who wants that'd be to? Weird I mean, to yeah. ask a question of yourself. Ask a question of myself. Yeah. I can click ask anonymously. Ooh. You can see here asking anonymously. Yep. And I've got there that goes the great out guy. Gotcha. I hit submit on that. Mm -hmm. Within my audience tools here, I can see anonymous. Thank you for opening the Q&A from anyone. Oh, wait. Ooh. I opened anyone, anyway, so from? anyone could have done that. So that could have been from somebody in Mumbai. Mumbai. If they got the link. If they got the link. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, can I not be seen? So if I want to click on any of these, I have great grammar. Yeah, right? you do. Uh, I can click on any of these, and it obviously it shows up and says anonymous. So That's if for some reason you don't want your avatar up there, if it's embarrassing, um, or you just don't want to the presenter to know that you're asking the, the question that that is right. uh, uh, certainly a possibility. Well, I mean, this kind of opens the door too to some students or faculty that feel like the question may be dumb, but everybody can see it. There's no such thing as dumb questions. Right. Um, you ask it anonymously, and then the presenter can still answer it without not having to pick on somebody, but it doesn't allude to the fact that who actually asked it. So Correct. that's kind of nice. Yep. I like that. So the other thing you see on here as well, um, we could actually pull these questions. Ooh. With Google, it's a th simple thumbs up, thumbs down, ah. right? But here's the trick. Yes. If you're pulling the audience, right, and the audience member opens it up in Firefox or Safari and does not sign in with a Gmail account, right, they can no, they cannot participate in the poll. What if they clicked anonymous like you just did, even though you were signed in? Can they participate in the poll? I'm still signed in. Ah. It's only set to ask the question anonymously. Gotcha. So it's you do have to be signed in in order to be able to vote up yep. or down. So I'm plus one in Nick Schumann. Mm, plus one. Yep. I'll plus one him as well. Yep. What I can see here now once we get the plus ones is I have a new top question, mm. which is great because you're polling the audience. You say, hey, I've got a whole bunch of people that want to know about this. Right. So once I hit show, it moves that top question up to the top of my list. Yeah. So I know that it's there. And then you can present that so everybody can see what the top question is. Yep, we can say that, and then I can go and say, do you have to be a member of the presenter's domain in order to participate in the Q&A? We already answered that, but I could go on a little bit more about it, which I already did. You can just rewind and go, Do we really have to? 
Or we could do the uh, the Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo, you mean Silent Live sketch? Well, Wayne's World was mocking yeah. Scooby Doo. Oh, all right. Fine. That's what they were doing. If that's what you're trying to do. God, you got to have more useless information up yeah. there. Guess I need to go back to my '80s TV. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tough to keep up. You can see as soon as I pop out of the slide, it yeah. gets rid of every of the Q and A that's on from the screen, um, and if we go back to present. Pops right back in. Everything pops right back in. I like it. Wow. It's q and A in a quick oh. Q and A session. Right. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to click my presenter view back up. I bring it back over. And you can see here I did continue recent. So boop, and now we're going back into it. I can see which ones we've done. Fantastic. Okay. Good deal. So the last part of this we want to take a look at is we want to get out of this and say you are now uh, going back and looking at the questions. You want to try to remember what people were asking. Right. Because either you're writing a blog about this, you're doing a sure. video blog vlog, uh, which I have. It's in the description below. Or if you just want feedback to say maybe next time I should put this into my slides so yep. they don't keep asking yep. questions. Yep. Yeah, yeah, sure. Absolutely. Um, so you can do that. You can go to tools. And you can go to Q&A history. Oh, like file revision right. history. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. you can see I presented this a bunch of times today. Yeah. We've gone through a couple of revisions of this. You wouldn't know it by watching this video, but sure. And I'm going to click on uh, the latest one, which is the one we're doing right now. And I can go back and see all of the things that were asked in here, as well as which ones were liked or not liked. Perfect. I so like it. You get a little uh, self-review on, on your presentation. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. All right. All right. As usual, mm -hmm. if you like this, please like in the uh, little likey button down in that Subscribe area. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to one of our YouTube channels, yes. Yeah, we've yep. got several. We've got, well, either one of ours. We, we do post these up on both of our YouTube channels, no matter who actually sent it out. Yep. Um, and uh, if you have any other things you want to see in slides or any other Google tools or anything else in uh, ed tech, leave that in the comments below and we'll talk about it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. As always. You lost in 1977. At Root Boy's Dad. And uh, you can throw a shout out to uh, N. Schumann 1978. Uh, just 78. Just 78? Yeah, N. He, Schumann doesn't, he doesn't want to know how old he is. You know? <laughs> 2000. You could add a couple hundred years on there. <laughs> <laughs> At N. Schumann 78, thanks That's for participating right. in our Q&A, Nick Schumann. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Absolutely.